Hey guys, welcome to Train Check YouTube channel. In this video, I will be solving this code was Kata 7 algorithm question, which is leap years. So, in this algorithm question, we are to check if a given year is a leap year or not. So, if a given year is a leap year, we are to return true. Why, if it is not a leap year, we are to return false. So, in the method, we are given int year as an input, which we are going to use to check if it is a leap year. Or it, is, or it is not a leap year so and these are the conditions given to us here so to determine if a year is a leap year one the year must be divisible by four without any remainder so that is why we have years divisible by four are leap year so the year must be divisible by four without any remainder and then the year must be divisible by zero without any remainder so years divisible by hundred um, i said one be divisible by 100 without any remainder so one years divisible by four without any remainders are leap year but years that are divisible by 100 if the year is being divisible by 100 without any remainder it is not a leap year so if the year is divisible by 100 without any remainder it is not a leap year so the year must be divisible by 100 with remainder for it to be a leap year and then years divisible by 400 without any remainder is also a leap year so that is the three conditions we'll be using to check. One, years divisible by four without any remainder is a leap year. And if the year is being divisible by 100 without any remainder, it is not a leap year. But if the year is being divisible by 400 without any remainder, it is a leap year. So now, as we all know, I'll be solving this algorithm on Visual Studio so that we can debug and see how it's moved. So I will copy this method now and start and debug. So, and debug. So, Using if state, using if statement, if statement, just statement, just if statement. So I'll be using the if statement to check all the conditions given to us on code words. So one, the first condition is what if the year is being divisible by four without any remainder. So if if year if year is divisible by four. If you're divisible by 4 is equal, equal to 0. So if the year is being divisible by 4 and then it has 0 remainder, it is a leap year. That is 1. And also, the year, if the year is being divisible by 100, it is not a leap year. If the year is being divisible by 100, it is not a leap year. So the year must be divisible by 100 with remainder. So if the year is being divisible by 100 without remainder, it is not a leap year. But if the year is being divisible by 100 with remainder, it is a leap year. So one and if year divisible by hundred is not equals to what zero like this. So since year that are divisible by hundred are not leap years, so we must since years that are not divisible by 100 are not, are not leap years. So to determine a leap year, we'll check if the year divisible by 100 is not equal to 0. That is what we determine if this is a leap year or not. So I'll have to group this first condition together, the brackets, so, as, so that they can treat it as one single condition on its own. So I can treat it as one single condition on its own. So this two is the first condition I'll be using to check if the year if the year is being divisible by 4 without any remainder and the year is being divisible by 100 with remainder so 1 and then if the year is divisible by 400 without any remainder so or year is being divisible by 400 400 without remainder so we will return true will return true that means it is a leap year that means it is a leap year else if it does not meet any of the uh, any of these conditions we we'll just return false that means it is not a leap year that means it is not a leap year so now let's test it and see cw so since the method is inside kata 7 class our first call kata 7 and then use dot to have access to all the method inside so leap year so I'll be testing all this one by one. So I'll test the first year, which is 2020. 
which is 2020 here. Yeah. So I'll pass 2020 here. Yeah. I'll set the breakpoint, set the breakpoint, and then run it. So let's wait for it to build and run so we can start the debug. So now let's step over. So now I'm inside the method now. And then the year now is 2020, which I imputed here, 2020. So let's check if let's check all the statements, if it is true. So if all the statement is true, then that means the year is a leap year. Because if it is not true, that means it is not a leap year. So let's check. Since it is true, it will enter this if statement. So now let's check. Year is divisible by 4. 2020, is it divisible by 4 without any remainder? True. It is divisible by 4 without any remainder. The 2020, is it divisible by 100 without any remainder? You see? 2020 divisible by 100 has what? 20 remainders. It has 20 what? Remainders. So, the condition 2 is what? Is true. So, yeah, um, 2020 divisible by 4 equals equals 0 is true. Why year 2020 divisible by 4 is not equals to 0 is also true. So, because it has what? 20 remainder. And then year 2020 divisible by 400. This is uh, is not what? Is false, which is not, which is what? Is not equals to 2020 divided by 400 is what? It has 20 remainder. So this is all. Even though it is divisible or it is not divisible, it will still return true. So it is or this is what is checking first. So assuming it is and, it will also return first. Since it is or, it will return first and it will return first. And if it is not divisible, it will return. If it is not divisible, it will return. If it is divisible, it will return true. And if it is not divisible, it will return true. It is just or. It is a or logical or sign. So it will still work. So that is why we get true here. So it will run, it will turn what true. It will turn what true. So now let's check. Um, so let's run it normally. So is what is true. And that is what we should get here too. True. True. So now let's check 20, um, 2000. Let's check here 2000. So now let's put 2000 here. So let's run 2000. Is what is still true. Yeah, 2002 is what is still true. So now let's run 2015. 2015 should be what? It should be false. Because it is not a leap year. So let's run 2015. Is what? It is false. It is not a leap year. So if we run 2015 on debug, you will see that it should be false. Because yet 2015 divided by 4 is what is not equal to 0 it has 3 remainder 2015 divided by 100 what it still has remainder yes 2015 divided by 400 is still what still has remainder again so it is false it is false so that is that for that so now let's move to the last one let's test the last one which is year 2000 yet 2000 <clears throat> year 2000 so now let's check year 2000 will be what should be what it should be false so it is also what it is also false so now let's take this code to code wars and see let's paste it on code wars to see if we will pass all the test cases or we still have some things to fix so now let's start let's try it <clears throat> so we passed all the test cases we passed all the test case. So what we are just going, what we are supposed to look for, or what we are to do is just to what year to check if the year is being divisible by four without remainder, and if the year is being divisible by hundred. If the year is being divisible by hundred, if if the year is not divisible by hundred without remainder, I mean. So if the year is being divisible by four without any remainder, and if the year is being divisible by hundred, it's not being divisible by hundred without any remainder, and then. The year is being divisible by 400 without any remainder, so that is just what we have to do. So, year 
divided uh, modulus 4 equals equals 0 and then j modulus 100 is not equals to 0 according to the instructions given to us here if the j is being divisible by 100 it is not what it is not a leap year if it is being divisible by 100 without any remainder it is not a leap year so it must be divide, divided by 100 with remainder that is why we have to use this year divisible by 100 which is not equals to 0 so and then the other statements to all this so that is that for that so let's attempt and see if we still have any other thing to fix so we passed all the test cases both the random test and then the fixed test so we can submit now so that is that for that so guys don't forget to subscribe to train check youtube channel don't forget to like this video don't forget to share and then don't forget to comment if you also have any algorithm question maybe on code words or from any other website that you want us to solve for you you can drop it in the comment section we will solve it for you and then drop the video so guys see you in next video thank you